hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to be proving um, this question which says n choose r plus n choose r minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 choose r so the question says let n and r be positive integers such that n is greater or equal to r yeah so we've been taught to prove and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel click on the subscription button and also click on the notification button after subscribing so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting and don't forget to uh to to, to do assist don't forget to send me questions in case you have any and if you have um, uh, problems in mathematics and physics feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen i offer tuitions i can see how i may help you all right so let's quickly look at the question so the question is here. So we're going to use the formula n choose r is equal to, we know that this is just n factorial over r factorial, then n minus r factorial. So this is what we have as the formula for this. So this is what we're going to apply to prove this uh, question on the screen. So n choose r can also be written as, um, okay, let me, just, uh, let me just take the left hand side. So I'm taking the left, uh, the left hand side which is uh, n choose r then plus n choose r minus 1 so every time you are proving something uh, that is equal to another thing make sure that you get the complicated part and then approve uh, uh, rather and then simplify it um, into a simpler version so in this case we can't get this part to to simplify it to this yeah so you always take the complicated part to simplify it to the simpler one so it's possible for you to move from there to there but it will take you um, a number of hours if not uh, minutes yeah so let's quickly begin so we start from this complicated part then we simplify it to that so this uh, n choose r is a very simple expression that we all know to say can be written as n factorial over r factorial open brackets n minus r uh, factorial and then we say plus this part can also be written using the same format this one which is uh, n factorial then divided by we're going to have r minus 1 factorial and then open brackets so this will be n minus the r there which is uh, that part there so it's going to be r minus yeah so this one we're going to have a plus there and this will be a one and the reason why it's going to be like that is because when we say n minus and then r minus one if we simplify this we're going to have n minus uh negative times r we have negative r negative times negative one there give us a positive one so this is why i've written that and then we have a factorial outside so from there we can now simplify that further so how do we do the simplify so um this part which is uh this side is going to be so this side if you check here we have r minus one so the only way we can uh, get r minus one from this expression it's by um, finding r factorial and end at r minus 1 factorial so we're going to have n factorial there over r will be the first uh, will be the first number there and then open brackets r minus 1 factorial and then from there we'll get this part here the reason why i'm doing this is because we know that if they give you 4 factorial it means that they are saying you start with the same 4 which is the same r there and then the next number there will be uh, 4 minus 1 which is going to be 3 that is r minus 1 which is 4 minus 1 r minus 1 is equal to 3 so if I want I can end at 3 and, and just put a 3 factorial because I know to say 3 factorial is also it can also be written as what as times 2 3 times 2 times 1 but if I don't want to write this I can just end at 3 factorial so this is what I've done I've just ended at r minus 1 factorial then of course I have n minus r there factorial but I don't have n minus r in this one so how do I get that is to find the factorial of this one so finding the factorial of that 
is going to be so on top there i have n, n factorial the denominator there is going to be r minus one factorial and then there we're going to have the first number of course will be the same n so in this case our n is just this part the same example i gave here if you have four factorial you start with the same four so if we have this factorial we start with this same one and then next we're going to subtract one from the from the whole expression so if we subtract one from n minus r plus one we subtract one we're going to get this part as a zero so meaning we're just going to remain with n minus r so we get n minus r there and then we put a factorial there so from there what we can do is to look at what is common and factorize uh, the common uh, part so how do we factorize so how do we do the factorizing so we can see that n factorial there is common then everything over we know that there is n factorial there is n factorial so it's common we write it there the other part which is common is r minus 1 r minus 1 so we write r minus 1 there factorial the other part is n minus r factorial n minus r factorial so we have n minus r factorial then we open the brackets the remaining parts we write them in the bracket so we have 1 minus or uh, rather 1 over r then apart from that we also have um, one i mean we have one over r which is remaining there then here we're just remaining with one over n minus r plus one this is what we have so we have to simplify this further so simplifying this further is simple so simplifying this uh, further is simple so we find the common denominator here so the common denominator um, okay before we do that okay let me just simplify this part and then i'll write it somewhere so simplifying this we're going to have one minus r plus one over n minus r plus one so the common denominator will be r open brackets n minus r plus one and then uh, this into that will give us this this times one we get n minus r plus 1 there and then we say this plus there we write it there then this into that is r so r times 1 we have r so negative r plus r there will give us what it will give us um, yeah so this will give us a zero so on top there will just remain with n and positive 1 so n plus 1 that's what we're going to remain with and then the denominator will be r then n minus r plus one this is what we have so this part here can also be written as this part here so let me erase and write that okay so this is what we have is what we have and then we open the brackets there and then the numerator there will be n plus one then the denominator will be r open brackets n minus r plus one so this is what we have so now if we multiply this times that n factorial times n plus one so this is where you have to pay attention because it needs a lot of thinking so n factorial times okay let me first multiply them so i have n factorial open brackets n plus one this is what i have and then the denominator is um r then from there we have n minus one when i multiply this and that factorial and um, we have n minus r factorial then there is n minus r plus one n minus r plus one so this is what we have so this is what we have and then when you look at this part 
Yeah, so looking at this part, this can also be written as n plus 1 factorial. So the numerator there it can be written as n plus 1 factorial. Why do I say that? So if I have n plus 1, if I say n plus 1 factorial, the next, um, the next step, uh, I mean, how do I find the solution for this one? Of course, the first one will be n plus 1. And then the next uh, step will be this same expression minus 1. So n plus 1 minus 1 will give me what? This part will give me a 0. So I'm just going to have what? n. So if I'm going to have n and I don't want to write the remaining um, terms this side, I can just say n factorial there. That's what it means. So if you look at this n plus 1 and n factorial, that's what we have on top there. So which can also be written as what? n plus 1 factorial. Okay. So the denominator there, we also do the same. We look at it properly and see what we can simplify there. So when you look at R, when you look at R, um, when you look at R and um, okay, so I made a mistake here. It's supposed to be R minus 1 not n minus 1, supposed to be r minus 1. So even this part, when you look at it, r times r minus 1 factorial can also just be written as r factorial. Why? Because um, if you have r factorial, so r factorial can, so if, we, if I say r factorial, r factorial can also be written as r times r minus 1 times r minus 2 times r minus 3 as a result, instead of writing r minus 2, r minus 3, I can just say r minus 1 factorial. So this is what it means. So this part here can also be written as uh, r factorial. Then we look at this one and this one. There is also n minus, one, n minus r, there is also n minus r there. But we have a plus 1 there. So this one is just the same as what we had on top there. We have n plus 1 and n factorial. So having that uh, in mind, we can also conclude that this part can also be written as what? Uh, n, uh, n minus r plus 1 factorial. So when you write this, so when you look at this expression, let me write it here properly so that you see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so we have n plus one factorial, and then the denominator will be r factorial. Then open brackets. We can rearrange this to n minus. Oh, sorry, n plus one minus r factorial so remember the formula for the for n choose r so the formula for n choose r is so we know that the formula for n choose r is simply just what so let me do this the n, the formula for n choose r we always say what is there factorial so what is on top there factorial then what is down there factorial and then open brackets, we say what is on top minus what is down. So we say n minus r and then factorial. This is what we do. So even this one, if you look at this, this is already in this format. So what is on top is what? n plus 1. So I'll write my n plus 1 there. And then down there, if you check, there is r factorial, which is, um, yeah, so we have r factorial there. Yeah, we have r factorial there, and then apart from that, we also have n. So what is on top minus what is down? So what is on top minus what is down? What is on top minus what is down? So what is on top minus what is down? So what is down is what? r. So this is the r that we have. So we have shown, we have proved that it's equal to that. So you can conclude by saying
has proved. All right, thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you click on the subscription button and the notification button. And if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, feel free to contact me using the lines on the screen. And then if you need tuitions in physics or mathematics, feel free to also contact me using these same contacts and then we'll see how we can help each other. My name is Hampted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.